Hi, I'm Avni and welcome to Perspectives. Through this series, I want to explore different artistic styles, intentions and the role of cultural influences in Indian art through the theme of the portrayal of women. I hope that this episode gives you a glimpse into the numerous facets that go into the creation of a single piece of artwork and makes you understand and appreciate the thought process of the artist. For today's episode, we'll be looking at the representation of women in film. I'm very excited to have the privilege to interview the versatile and multifaceted Muzaffar Ali ji. A world-renowned designer, a filmmaker, and an artist himself, I'm at a short of words to describe his abilities to weave magic into whichever dimension he chooses. I found these lobby cards of old Bollywood films in Maps collection and I would like your thoughts and insight on about how film media like this has helped portray women in different ways and how costumes, makeup and the direction bring out the character's traits and help bring out the image that the director wants to convey. So the three lobby cards that I've selected from the collection I just wanted to go over them. So the first one is Meena Kumari in the film Purnima and I feel like she's been depicted as this you know traditionally shy bride um which can be compared to Geeta Bali's role in the movie Firdaus and you see how she seems much younger and more free spirited um and you know the way she's smiling and looking and the third one is Nargis in the movie Anhoni and the way you know the her posture the way she's looking at the camera the way she has a cigarette in her mouth it's like more of like the new age modern woman with like a sort of western influence and yeah i would like your thoughts on all of these these women were phenomenal you know in that case and meena kumari madhubala nutan i mean they they had a they had a had a lot to say the faces the woman's journey is, is always more intense more deep and uh, it's more sensitive you know so for instance in I, that's how I use my uh, women in my films everything has to be designed around that character the, the way you place her the, the, the occasions that I, the kind of uh, the ambiance the the costume everything has to tell that story and that aspect of the story so i wanted to um know about how like you know like how do you um show that sort of journey you show like the woman's character is like obviously you show it through like their dialogues and the expressions and the acting but i wanted to know whether the costume and the makeup and you know set design how does that um play a role in you know showcasing what you wanted to like let's say uh, for instance for them the characters also depicted through poetry and in this particular case it is based on a classic novel called rajanata for me it took me a lot of time to get into that character yeah so how did you like style the character how did you like photograph and compose the film as a filmmaker to for the like bring through see i i mean for me i had to kind of uh, live that character be that character take the char- character where it belong where actually i belong lakshmi so to place the character in that ambiance in that milieu was difficult and easy you know I, what i did was i recorded the whole novel on tape and uh, i used to listen to it every time i was driving my car so then I, you know the character started taking shape in my mind you know i mean when i was hearing about uh, it was like an autobiographical novel uh, written by Mirza Hadi Yusuf so when i was hearing that i could position myself uh, there and i could say oh this looks like this would be at this time of the year this could be 
somewhere like this in this space so i mean one designed the whole space based on what was happening to the characters um yeah so i had this um uh, one poster i found of umrao chan yeah so i had a couple of questions about this i just wanted to know like what was the was there like a reason behind like i know you're an artist so you know like color is sometimes often used to depict certain moods or send out a certain message so was there any particular reason why you chose white and gold i think that's a very classic uh, palette you know because particularly yeah. i didn't want her to have any i mean it could have been anything you know but it's just that we decided that in that whole kind of uh, colorful yet subdued ambiance yeah. something this would stand out like a like a, like a jewel you know what i mean like yeah. a pearl like even in umrajan how did you use like when you were directing or like when you were like making the film how did you bring through like the expressions and like how did how were you able to like direct it in a way that the emotions and like the thoughts and feelings of the character were able to like show through the see a, a film is a is an emotional graph yeah and uh, the whole actually the the entire crew knows the graph you know almost mm-hmm. from everybody i mean that's something that um, is in the air when you're shooting that particular a uh, scene and that the mood of the scene everybody is living it you know i mean in some way or the other and sabse zyada to obviously the character has to live it you know? yeah i think that pretty much sums up everything i wanted to know thank you so much for um talking to me